Hi students, let us continue. One day, these courtiers told him that he was so powerful that even the air and the water would obey his orders. The courtiers, the courtiers in his palace went beyond all the limits of praising the king. He told him that even the air and water obey him, obey the king. Obey his orders. But King Canut was not a fool and he was tired of their flattery. But the King Canut did not like this type of flattery. He became tired of such foolish words. He told his entire court to follow him to the seaside. One day, the king asked the old people in the palace to go with him to the seaside, to the beach. The tide was coming in. He stood in front of the waves and said, I, King Canute, the powerful, command you, O waves, roll back, do not touch my royal feet. After taking the whole people in his palace to the beach, to the seaside, and he stood beyond the waves, uh, in the free, on the beach, and asked to the sea waves, I am the king Canut. I am a most power. I am the most powerful king on the earth. So waves, you have to go back. Don't come here. You should not touch my royal feet. You should not wet my royal feet. The king asked the waves in front of the courtiers, in front of the people in the palace. Of course, the sea did not listen to him. The waves kept coming and soon King Cano's feet and the feet of his courtiers were well and truly wet. Now what happened? The sea did not obey the king. The waves kept coming. It continuously came to the beach. Then what happened? The feet of the king and the feet of his courtiers wet well. He turned to his shame-faced courtiers and said, Only God has the power to command the air and the water. Remember that. After doing these things, the king turned to his courtiers, who was already became shameful, ashamed, became ashamed at their foolish words. Now, King Canute told them that only the God Almighty has the power to command the air and water. Remember that.